Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 6, so let's play Mega Man X7, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. No worries, I'm still alive after that whole debacle with Flame Heinard stage. I don't want to go through that again, trust me on this one. I would much rather stick a Wolverine up my ass than do that. That being said, it's now time to take on another Maverick, and this one is Snipe Anteater. Ready? Okay, the music is nice in this level. It's kind of techno-ish, but the level itself can be very tricky. One, your transmission tends to jam, so Alia will not be able to tell you too much. And B, in the second part of this world, or second part of this level in the cyber field, you might actually have to go upside down. And I saved you, Ain. Or Ain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Ain. I don't want to call you Ayn, because that was a Cypher admin in Pokemon Coliseum. Check out that Let's Play, by the way, if you hadn't already. That is, if you're not too tired of watching a... Why'd I do that? If you're not tired of Chugga Conroy's LP and just decided not to watch mine, because you already saw that one. That being said, to get past these walls, you have to use these Samurais over here, with the copy shot, so you can walk through the wall. The only problem is, of course, you have to kill the Samurai, and that in itself is a war of attrition. Because it takes quite a few shots. The Samurai can dash with the uh, circle button, which is pretty cool. What's not cool is that it's so slow. The dashing, not so much. You can do like a light jump, which is pretty cool in its own right. However, that's pretty much the best amount of movement you're going to get. And if that wears off, then of course you have to do it again. Hey, Rosetta. <laughs> Which of course is a Newfoundland rock band, by the way, if you haven't heard of them. They're actually pretty good. My sister loves them. Me, yeah, I'm kind of indifferent, but I support local music from time to time. As long as it's my type of genre. That being said, I'll stick with the samurai for a little bit longer. Actually, I think that's all the reploids I can save in this very section. And unfortunately, I think I have to wait for the... Oh, never mind. I can go right now. Hopefully I don't have to do that too much, because waiting for the samurai mode to wear off takes a while. And you move so slow, you can't even jump very high, and attacking is even slower. Okay, now we're to the part where sometimes you'll have to be upside down. Yeah, have fun with depth perception here, because it's going to F with your brain. When you see those, like, glowing tiles over there, you just have to, uh, jump right into them, and there you go. I don't even know why I saved those with Axel. But, yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as I get stuff done. Okay, it looks like I won't be able to go much further. Because when you see those glass walls, kind of like light screen for Pokemon, you can't walk past them. And you can't even climb up those walls either. Not that you would need to, you can't go very far. Now the good news is, at least you cannot fall to your doom. Don't worry, you just walk right into invisible walls, so you will not fall to your death. Okay, I'm trying to think about where it is I'm supposed to go. I keep thinking I'm supposed to jump here, but apparently no. No, I can't hear you, Alia. Shut up. I'm busy just getting lost. Okay, I did a practice run on this level, and I thought I did okay. For the most part, when I wasn't getting lost. And I'm pretty sh Oh, wait, I was supposed to jump over here. It didn't even seem like I could at the time, but apparently I can. These bees are also very annoying. They're just gonna keep coming in at me while I'm trying to copy the samurai. But as long as I move as soon as they start to lunge, I should be alright. Okay, now I gotta wait for the samurai to get back to my side of the wall, otherwise the DNA is gonna end up on the other side of the wall and I can't even get there! Now you see why I'm not a fan of this level, but it's still, like, miles above Flame Hyenard's stage. Ooh, Mary. No, I don't want to marry Mary. Brian and Jelly? Huh. 
Wouldn't it be funny if its name was Brain and Jelly instead of like a uh, Brian and Jelly? But jokes aside, let's move on here. Ooh, Heart Tank. Which sadly I cannot reach from here. I'll have to find another route. Could it be here? Probably. Like, your depth perception just gets so mad. Oh my god. Wait, I think I did the right thing. No, I did not. This is just back where I started, so to speak. Alright, so let's try this again. Is this the right one? It should be. Nope, nope, it's probably the same one. Yeah, I thought so. I'm telling ya, it messes with your mind thinking you're going to the right one. Turns out you aren't. Oh, Cliff, how's it going? These green things, I don't think you can kill them. If you can, it's probably with a weapon that I'm not using. Or probably I'm just losing interest in trying to find them. Oh, there, there's a heart tank. Alright, so I got that. That's pretty good. I believe there are only two sections and then this entire level, and then you go take on the boss. So that's not too bad. A frustrating level, but at the same token, a pretty short one, and I just I was jumping there. Okay, so I don't have to go over that side anymore. Let me go this way. I'm telling you, it's just so confusing. If I go this way? Should I go here? Hmm. Okay, it's apparently that orange one over here that'll allow me to go right side up. So maybe I'll try this one and just go a little further north. That might be the way I need to go. I have no idea. It's just so hard to see. I mean, most of this stuff just blends right in. That's the problem. All the hate that I've been giving Cyber Peacock for his cyber level in Mega Man X4, I offer a huge apology. Because, you know, Time Trials is nowhere near as bad as this. Trust me on this one. Okay, there's some kind of capsule over there on the northeast, but I can't do anything with it. I'll have to do that with another character later... But for now, I'm just going to have to leave it alone and just mark it into my memory, knowing that I have seen it. But of course, we've seen these capsules in other X games, so anybody that's played Mega Man X 1 through 6, maybe even X8, would have a very good idea on what these things do. But I try my best not to spoil, probably to a fault, so that's why I'm not mentioning it. Richie! And hopefully your last name ain't Rich. Ted? Yeah, I thought you were a bear. Maybe I said for Carlin. Maybe not. What else is a lie these days other than the cake? Alright, so let me try going over here. I should be able to get to the Reploid if I find a warp around this area. That is, if I find a warp in this area. Oh, hey, um, Malib? Malib? Maybelline? I don't know. Names are just out there. Colin! I won't let you die, man. Wait, how do I save you? So, was I in the wrong spot to get to Colin? Hopefully, Mockery? It's probably around here. Uh, yep, yep, I think it's here. No! I can't get over on this side! Okay, this is effed in the A here. The samurai is really wrecking me. Um... How do I get to that Reploid? I don't want to leave any Reploids behind, because then I'll eventually have to go through the level again if it has something important. Oh my god, this is... This is just messed up. I mean, I can just leave and do the finish the level right now. May not exactly be a bad idea. At least Colin is staying alive. Like a Bee Gees cover. So 
something tells me maybe I should just leave that Reploid alone and come back to it later. Because there's no sense just getting arsed over something you're going to save. You'd think you can get over here, but no! Can't get through there with the Samurai either. You've been over this. As far as that capsule, like I said, I can't do anything with Zero or Axel. So I have to wait a while. Oh, speaking of Axel. Let's see if you can say Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. M minus the Funky Bunch. Oh my god, these bees! There, now don't come back! There we go. I want to say Mark, because you know that's an extra Reploid, and Reploids are obviously very important to my success. Um... Okay, there's apparently some other direction I can go. But I'll deal with that later. For now, I just have to wait for this to wear off. Because, you know, why not? Let's see where this leads. I don't think I've taken this one. Hey, Donnie, what's up? No, to go the other way, Zero. Thank you. Why is there so many Reploids all across? I know there's 16, but it just feels like there's more. At least the music is catchy. Okay, there's the capsule. Remember, I can't do anything with it. Hey, I found Hyde! No pun intended. In other words, I was seeking Hyde. Get it? <laughs> Most of you guys will get it, and probably a lot of you guys are groaning like you don't care. Oh, that's how you get to Colin. Just imagine if he died on me as soon as I got there. Hey, I found Colin! Oh, dead. Damn it! Where's Ted? Haha! <laughs> Damn, I'm on a roll! At this right, I might have saved every Reploid! I still don't understand what the point of that pathway was if it just leads to a dead end. Maybe that was the point. What is the point of the dead end? Well, the dead end is the point. Sadly. Okay, this probably just leads back to the castle. Yeah, it does. No, I just wanted to go back to where I was. Damn it. It's like the up and down movements tend to mess up for me. Like, I get confused. The left and right, that's just fine. Because it's just the same. Here, not so much. Well, let me try this path. I think this leads to the boss. Wouldn't surprise me. This looks one way. If I remember my practice run, and indeed it does, that's the capsule. Why don't I let Axel get a line of dialogue for a change? Because every Maverick I faced was with zero. <laughs> so you've come, little one. Uh, is that Yogi Bear? Oh ho ho, with my picnic basket! Isn't it about time for your retirement? <laughs> this one is a big talker. Shouldn't you concentrate on being granted hunter status? Wait, is that a crossbreed of Yoki Bear and Rodney Dangerfield? Aw oh, man, you always weren't good at figuring people out. Oh, yes. And of course, I know why you're here too. So why do you think I'm here? Because you're an you're ass? An enemy, is it? You're a real pain, geezer. <laughs> says blood spitting lizard. Oh, 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 oh. Now, I want you to fight like normal. I need to get good data on you, boy. Fine with me. I'm no good at holding back, anyway. Alright, so this battlefield is a pain in the ass because you have to fight on a pipe. You gotta fight on a glass pipe. His weakness is moving wheel. But here's the problem. That move is so useless! Because it just goes one way. It can only go straight. So, you know what you should be using? The Raijin Show! That does a metric ass ton worth of damage to Snipe Anteater. In fact, as long as he's standing still, you're gonna hit him multiple times with that move. Look at that! Look at all the damage I'm doing, it's so staggering.
I got a bit of desync, but I'll fix that up later. Got him! With Raijin Show, this battle is a breeze. Oh my god, it was that ridiculous. And all it took was one new move. Alright, mission report. Let's see this new weapon. The Hyijin? I don't know how to pronounce Japanese words. During a jump, press triangle button. Okay, let me fix up the audio. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back to normal. Let's continue. Actually, this attack for zero could be very valuable. I mean, it's a range attack, and zero could use some extra range. A guided arrow of light? Damn, now we can destroy Ganon! Oh, wait. Well, maybe Ganon would make a pretty neat Maverick. Then again, we already defeated him on a motorcycle. He kept calling me a punk. Alright, so things went pretty good, especially for Axel. Because, you know, well, he could use an energy up. Zero, not so much. Okay, we save Rin, Daniel, Sue, Rosetta, Mary, Jelly, Mark, Doug, Cliff, Ted, Richie, Colin, Don, Brian, Malib, and Hyde. Wow, we saved every single Reploid here! To make up for all the shortcomings in Flame High and Art stage, this was very nice to have for a change. Okay, so definitely gonna bring this one on zero. And let's see, increases critical attack power or widens hit radius of attack. I think I should go for this. I'm still not worrying about speed though. And as for this, I'll give to Axel for Super Recover. Actually, I, I want to change my mind on Axel's front at the very least. I think I want to give Axel the Shock Absorber. It's too bad you can't actually just store the chips for a later use, that you have to use them now. It, it kind of sucks, but oh well. We'll have to live with it. And yes, I will definitely save because, you know, that was a pretty good high. When I practiced this, I lost a Reploid, and there were several that I missed. I think it was six or five that I missed. That's quite a su substantial amount. So I think I did a lot better than my practice run, which I'm very proud of. Then again, that's often expected, because when you practice, chances are you're bad. But when you go for real, you already practice, so you know what to expect! Oh, it's so foggy here! And, and red! Oh, speaking of red... <laughs> you are something else. Who goes there? Show yourself! Don't you find the Maverick Hunters to be a bit too much of a nuisance? Oh, your fucking raspberry is my voice, awesome. Sigma! Maverick hunters? Well, sure. I don't like them, but they've got nothing to do with us. We'll do as we please, hunters or no. Get lost. I don't even know who the heck you are. Oh, you will. Let's just say I'm a sympathizer with your cause. Yeah, right. The rescue of a captured Reploid is progressing smoothly. Yeah, I'm so enthusiastic. Hmm. Yes. But it's causing a lot of damage. Is there nothing that can be done? Please, can we do something? Even Zero has his limits. Axel is doing good work, but he's still a child. We can't expect much more with their present ability. Zero, do you read me? I'm going too. Take me with you. X? Okay. Do as you please. To finish things, 
I've got to do it. To finish this once and for all. Yeah. Let's show that red alert how it's done. And it looks like the gang is all back together again. Don't worry, Axel will still get some use. But apologies aside, I'm definitely going to be using a good team from now on. It's going to be Zero and Mega Man X. Yes, we can now play as X. And of course, since we fulfill the requirement of saving at least 64 Reploids, we get X right away. If we weren't able to save 64 Reploids, then we have to wait till we defeated all 8 Mavericks, and then you can play as X. Alright, I'm going to stop the video right here, and in the next part, Zero and X are going to go to the Air Forces to take on Wind Crowrang. Goodbye, everybody.